Hey everybody, welcome back to microbeerreviews.com. Uh, we've got a limited release Blue Moon beer here for you. This is in their multi-12 pack right now, in their summer uh, multi-12 pack, uh, spring of 2012. This is their Agave Blonde Ale. And uh, like I said, it's limited limited release. The um, uh, only place I found it is in the multi-12 pack. Um, this is an interesting beer. So what it, they're they're trying to do here is give you a blonde wheat ale mixed with the agave nectar. Um, um, they're going for a subtle, sweet, balanced flavor. I mean, the beer is a lot darker than a lot of other Blue Moon beers. Um, you can kind of see how it's got a, it's unfiltered, um, it's a little bit cloudy, it's got a lot more of a caramely uh, color to it. Um, it's 5.6% alcohol, so it's a little higher than some of their other beers by a few tenths of a per percent. And I think what they're trying to do here is give you a, a wheat ale with a little bit of sweetness made with an ingredient that most people don't use. So I didn't know what an agave plant was. Most people think it's a cactus. It's not. It's related to the aloe plant, and the plant is usually used for ornamentals and is typically found in Mexico. So there's a little history on what this plant is. Um, they use the nectar from the plant to to uh, blend in with the beer for the like I said for the sweetness factor. Um, it said it was inspired by the brewmasters when they were traveling through Mexico to um, make this limited release summer ale. Um, the beer itself, to me tastes like a sweet uh, Blue Moon White Ale. Um, it, it still kind of has a little bit of that weedy flavor to it, a little um, unfiltered, a little cloudy. It's good, though, because I think the sweetness balances out the wheatness. Just made that up. Uh, so that you have a little bit more of a pleasant palate taste by the, the nectar um, kind of on the back end of, of the, the taste. Um, I think it's pretty cool, actually. I would actually buy a six-pack of this. Uh, I'm glad it was in the 12-pack to try it. I, um, they say they're only going to make it, I think, April through July uh, when its availability will be. And I, I think it's something that would become hugely popular, especially if it was on draft um, on in your coastal area. So you're at the beach. Um, instead of getting a Corona or maybe another one of the Blue Moon products with an orange in it, uh, maybe some of the other uh, summer ales, um, this one just has a little bit more complex flavor to it because it's a little bit darker than some of the wheat ales. And it, it just, I like the fact that it's brewed with something different. And when you first taste it, you can't really put your finger on it. But it's good. I like it a lot. I'm really, really happy that I got to try it. Um, I think a lot of people will like this beer a lot. Um, three and a half, maybe a four even on our rating scale between one and five. Definitely a, a buy. Buy the multi-12 pack. Get this beer, try it, trade it with some people. You get their pale ale in there as well. There's their summer honey wheat. You get some good stuff in there for the summer, and uh, you'll like this one in there. So uh, check it out. Let me know if you've tried it. Leave some comments, please, on our YouTube channel. Our website, as always, is microbeerviews.com. We appreciate you watching, and we'll see you again real soon. Cheers.